Hi everyone, I'm Addie. I'm a product marketing manager with Microsoft Teams. I'm here with Daniel today to talk about how we can simplify your first line work with low code solutions in Teams. Hi everyone, my name is Daniel. I'm also a product marketing manager in Microsoft 365, focused on first line workers, and I'm happy to be here today. So today we're gonna walk through three things. First, we're gonna talk about the challenges serving your first line workers and defining this part of the workforce. And then I'm gonna turn it over to Addy, who's gonna walk through Teams and Power Platform low code solutions, and then how actually customers are using these solutions today. So let's get started with who are these so-called first line workers? First line workers or most often called frontline workers or deskless workers are essential workers. And we have seen this during these unprecedented times much more than ever before. They are essential because they are the first to engage with customers, the first in lines of production, and very often the first to represent a company's brand. However, there's a huge disconnect between what companies believe first-line workers should be and what first-line workers actually get when it comes to technology. In fact, this part of the workforce is very much underserved. We did a Harvard Business Review study where we studied over 500 business decision makers. Close to 80% of them believe that empowering first-line workers is critical to their long-term strategy. However, less than 25% of the workers themselves actually indicate they have the right technology to do their jobs. And there's clearly a disconnect here. So how does this actually look like when it comes to the technological landscape of this part of the workforce? There are a lot of challenges serving first-line workers. First, it's about being disconnected. They feel disconnected from corporate communication and business goals. They have outdated legacy tools, apps, and devices. And they also currently operate fragmented systems and manual processes. Lastly, it's all about security and compliance because they use consumer applications such as WhatsApp, iMessage, or Facebook that introduces shadow IT for large organizations. This was even more exposed during these COVID times where business continuity and remote work was critical and virtual communication, digital processes, and security continue to be essential for first-line workers. So we can clearly do better. And where do we start? One thing to point out here is that it's not enough to provide first-line workers with technology. We have to provide them with simple technology because we are not competing with other enterprise applications. We are actually competing with shadow IT applications such as WhatsApp. And if we don't prove the value of simplicity, they are simply going to go back and continue to use those shadow IT applications. So it's all about simple and intuitive experiences that first-line workers want to use. And once we prove to them that these applications are actually easy to use and more powerful, then they're going to bring in these experiences, which actually bring back better results for the employees and for the company. Let me turn it over to Addy, who's going to walk through how we can actually use these low-code solutions in Teams to bring back time to your workers so that they can be much more efficient. Addy, over to you. Thanks, Daniel. I'm now going to walk you through how Microsoft Teams and Power Platform can solve many of the pain points for first-line workers that Daniel just mentioned. Seamlessly manage your first-line's day-to-day process, like shifts and tasks, all within the Teams unified platform, making routine operations simple so that workers can focus on the most important aspects of their job. Using Teams and Power Platform also allows you to modernize outdated systems, like relying on pen and paper processes. Using custom apps, bots, and automating workflows will make operations more efficient, giving first-line workers time back to spend with their customers or at home with their families. All of these capabilities benefit from the security compliance features available in Microsoft 365. So your first-line workers can work and communicate securely, regardless of where they are. Now let's see the tools that enable all this to happen. Power Automate, Power Apps, and Power Virtual Agents are three Power Platform tools that enable smart work for your first line. So let's start with Power Automate, which allows for intelligent automations for your work on Teams, such as approvals, alerts, and reminders. Automating routine tasks means that workers have more time to focus on the problems that only they can solve. I'll show you how this works in action. Let's pretend that I'm a worker in a manufacturing plant. We'll see how Power Automate can jumpstart my day. 
When I arrive at work, I open up Teams for my phone and click on the Shifts app. The time clock built into Shifts makes it easy for me to clock in and clock out. It also helps keep track of how long I've been on my shift. You'll see here that I can even track my break times. Now that I'm clocked in, I need to request a shift change on Thursday because of a doctor's appointment. The Shifts app also helps me manage my work schedule. I click on the shift I need to change and press swap. Then I look through the schedule to see what's available. I want to switch my Thursday shift with Pete's shift on Friday. I can type in a reason below, or I can just choose to leave it blank. Then I click done. Pete will get a notification that I requested a swap from him. Once Pete approves or denies the swap, I'll also get a notification. Looks like Pete accepted the swap. Now I need my manager to approve. In a few moments, you'll see just below manager response that Wes auto approved this change. Normally, the change would require my manager's implicit approval. However, Wes manages a large workforce and has tons of approvals to go through each week. So instead of taking the time to approve each one, he uses a flow with Power Automate so that all shift changes are automatically approved, as long as they follow a certain specifications that Wes has preset, saving Wes time and making it easier and quicker for Pete and I to swap shifts. Once the change has been approved, I will see it automatically reflected in my schedule, but not just the calendar and the shifts app. Me personally, I use Outlook to manage my schedule. After just a few moments, the change in my schedule is reflected here in my Outlook calendar. See, there's no longer a shift on Thursday when my doctor's appointment is. This way, I don't even need to open up shifts or teams to check on my schedule. This automated update, just like Wes's auto approval of my shift change, is powered by Power Automate and is a simple flow that anyone can use to sync up with third-party calendar apps, including non-Microsoft products like Apple or Google Calendar. Shifts and teams makes managing my schedule easy, but I also need tools to help me with my daily tasks. A custom app built with Power Apps can be connected to hundreds of business systems and databases, making it easy to link first-line workers like myself to processes and data systems, benefiting both me and my manager back in the office. Anyone in your organization can build a Power Apps app with no coding experience necessary. And with Teams, you can scale these apps quickly across the workforce. Let me show you the app that I use on the factory floor. I'm responsible for equipment safety checks at the manufacturing plant, and I need to get started on my daily rounds. To begin, I open up my team's maintenance channel. You'll see here a chat with some of my colleagues in maintenance. I click more to find the app I use for inspections. This is a custom app built using Power Apps. I'm going to click begin inspection to get started. Here, I can see all the machines that I have to inspect. On the top row are all the categories of equipment, which I could click on if I wanted to view by category. Today, I'm gonna to start with inspecting the welding machine. This brings me to the inspection overview page, which shows the checklist I'll run through to ensure that the machine is running properly. I'm going to click begin inspection to start this process. Now that I've opened the full checklist, I'll run through as I inspect the machine. I can select okay, issue, or not applicable. There are also reminders just below each picture that tell me what I'm looking for. For example, you see that fluid levels should read between 60 and 90. I click OK for the parts that are within specifications and issue for those that aren't. Hmm, it says that the cables are supposed to be secure in both ends. It doesn't look like they're hooked up right on the machine. I'm going to mark them as an issue and add a note. I could even take a picture of my phone and upload it right into the app so that the image gets stored exactly where it needs to be. Looks like the return valve meets specifications, so I'll mark this as OK. Once submitted, it brings me to the inspection overview page where I can review my selections. This looks good. The inspection form gets sent back to a central database so that my manager and other internal teams can review, and it will be stored and used for data analysis. A third Power Platform tool for your first line is Power Virtual Agents. This allows you to build custom chatbots that your first line can connect to from their phone, tablet, or desktop to retrieve important data and documentation. Instead of calling for help or combing through a large database of files, I can instead ask a chatbot to retrieve the information that I need and get a response without delay. 
Now let's see how I can use Power Virtual Agents to help me fix the issue with the cables. I submitted the cable issue during the inspection report, but I need to fix the situation before the machine can be cleared for use. To ask for help, I used to call my manager, who would spend time looking through files on his computer and talk me through how to troubleshoot over the phone. But now, with the custom bot built with Power Virtual Agents, I can connect with a bot that will instantly direct me the information that I need to solve the problem. So I've closed up the inspection app and I'm heading over to Teams chat. Here I can ask the technical assistant bot to help me fix the problem. What's great is that the bot is made with natural language processing, so I can have a regular conversation with it as I would a colleague. The chatbot has categorized the documents for me, so I don't need to scroll through a long list. I'm gonna click on equipment troubleshooting. And now it's narrowed it down to the various machines. So here I could click on cables, or if I happen to refer to them instead as wires, I can type that into the chat. This will still bring me to the right document since the bot is trained to know that cables can be referenced in a few different ways. Now that I have the document I need in hand to fix the welding machine, there's no more delays with calling my boss or struggling to scan through a large database on my phone. So now I can quickly fix what's needed and continue on my rounds. Power Automate, Power Apps, and Power Virtual Agents help solve pain points for first line processes. Here are some more examples of solutions for your first line, such as reminders about outstanding tasks, submitting and tracking customer feedback, and getting immediate information when you're in the field. With Power Platform tools and teams, your first line processes are simplified and your workforce is empowered to do more. Microsoft customers are using the Teams and Power Platform integration to equip their first line workers across all different industries. Whether they are ticket agents and pilots creating their own apps to unite a diverse workforce like at Etihad, doctors and nurses getting critical patient information when they need it, leading to improved care at Northwell Health, or reducing response time by digitizing paper processes at CenturyLink. The key is equipping these essential workers with the tools that they need to help their organizations and their customers be successful. So let's see how another organization is using these tools. The biggest changes for our business has been the way that we communicate things out to our technicians. When we looked at the ecosystem for a field technician, there were lots of different applications and systems and links and places to go and get information, having to manage and service all of that. It can be quite challenging. And what we really wanted to do is we wanted to really bring that together into one place for them. Microsoft Teams has been really important to running our field services. We saw this amazing opportunity to integrate Power Apps. We created two platforms, Technician Plus and Leader Plus, linked into Microsoft Teams has made that cohesive experience for our users really has everything. It's more about automating and digitizing a lot of those manual processes which were typically done via paper. It's really been an integral part of ensuring that the rest of the technician workforce is up to speed. First thing in the morning, I log onto my tablet, jump onto Technician Plus to make sure I'm across all the new communications and news that is uploaded there daily. Then I travel to my first job. I think the foundations that we laid has really helped create that platform for crisis management, whether it be fires or floods or obviously the most recent pandemic. We have to be quite agile in the way that we develop solutions to be able to manage those. And I spent about seven years in the field servicing our customers. I then transitioned to a role in the field digitisation team. I don't have a typical software engineering or IT background and what the Power Platform has allowed me to do is really develop an application within 48 hours with end-to-end -end reporting. We've automated and digitised around 70 processes. We have visibility of weather warnings and we have meetings on MS Teams as daily with our field leads just to ensure our safety before we are mobilising. Technicians will go out to those sites and they'll capture photos through their tablet and then our resource coordinators can visualise that information in a Power BI report. Being in the field, we knew where to go for the updates and communications. It's increased our efficiency dramatically. We can service our customers quicker. Power Platform has helped us get about 10 million minutes back into our business, which has increased the productivity of our people. And I'm really passionate about building that community of problem solvers, seeing those guys out there using the tools that have developed, and it makes you want to provide a better experience. I like resolving customers' issues, and the tools that we've been given definitely improve our experience and the customer's experience.
Now that you've seen how Teams and Power Platform can transform your first line, we want to give you the tools to help you get there. Make sure you watch the other Ignite sessions on this topic and check out these products and training resources that can help you build your own first line solutions using Teams and Power Platform.